it's a lot of cognitive switchboarding going on. A you're, lot. You're looping between skills and competencies. Um, and then, of course, we talked about the critical analysis and reasoning section, which has its own set of the, exact um, learning skills. I love yeah. the way you said there's a lot of cognitive switchboarding going on, going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Because what it means is, if I have not mastered that blueprint, and I know we keep going back to it, but if we have not mastered the blueprint before the exam, that's right, before the exam, before you even studying, if we have not mastered that blueprint, it is very difficult, very difficult to do this process. And that's one of the challenges for a lot of scholars because the prep programs are not focused on the blueprint. The prep programs assume you know the blueprint. They assume you can actually think. Mm. Prep programs are primarily focused on content, content review. Content review. And that can that can be a kind of red herring for it some can students be. because if you think that just doing this particular Q bank or this particular, you know, um, online resource um, is going to give you that the, the the skills, the competencies, and understanding that blueprint. That's not going because as we it's, talk it's about the switchboarding right. and trying to do that in real time. Let's just say you're you haven't practiced this. Let's just say you haven't even covered the blueprint bef before. You know this is after your dedicated period. You're actually on exam day. Imagine having to do all of this cognitive switchboarding in real time when it actually matters on game day. Right. 